So, managed to get hold of one of the new Seat Cooper Fomenters. This particular model is the 1.5 TSI. Now, Joe's normal daily driver is a BMW 1 Series with a few uh, additions. Uh, but it was involved in a little bit of a knock, not his fault. And this is the car that he's been given, so I thought I'd take a few pictures and a bit of video and have a little chat about it. See, Cooper Fermenter 1.5 TSI is, as you can see, stylish and it's a performance oriented compact SUV that offers an exciting driving experience. I've been thoroughly impressed with its performance, comfort and overall design. The Fomenta also offers selectable driving modes include comfort, sport and individual, allowing you to be able to customise the car's performance to your own individual tastes. The exterior design of the coupe looks a bit manga style, but hey, it might grow on me. It's got sharp lines, sloping roof line and, dis and distinctive LED headlights that give it that dynamic and sporty look. The 19 inch alloy wheels and twin exhaust pipes add to its aesthetic appearance. The cabin is equally impressive with high quality materials, supportive sports seats and a well designed dashboard layout. The infotainment system is user friendly with large touch screen display that supports smartphone integration, Bluetooth connectivity and satellite navigation. The Fermenter also offers a comfortable and practical ride, although can be a little bit harsh while not being uncomfortable. The suspension is well tuned providing balanced composed ride even over our UK very potholed and even road surfaces. But those twin exhaust pipes are plastic. Why do they do it? It's horrible. Never mind, they're all doing it. Maybe. As you can see, one of the standout features of the Seat Cooper Fermenter 1.5 TSI is its engine. The 1.5 litre turbocharged four cylinder engine provides ample power with 148 horsepower, allowing for quick acceleration and smooth cruising on the highway. The 7 speed dual clutch automatic, although not everyone's favourite, it certainly provides seamless transmission shifts, providing a sporty and engaging driving experience. The interior is spacious with plenty of legroom and headroom for passengers in both the front and rear seats.
Rear cargo area is also generous, making it practical for everyday use or road trips. In terms of safety, the Cupra Fermenter ticks all the boxes, as you would expect, including adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, automatic emergency braking, providing peace of mind while driving. One big breath. It might be typical of the VAG in the fact that they all tend to have that harsh, although not uncomfortable, ride. You get used to it I suppose is what I'm trying to say. But overall, I like the looks of it and in this, uh, what they see it called grey, it's got a little bit of blue about it, I quite like it. So if you like what you've seen and heard, do the normal please. Subscribe and a like, hit the bell button for further notifications and the rubbish that we tend to uh, churn out and uh, I'll catch you again later. Thanks for watching.